In this episode, we're back at Ravenport Repo and we are taking Motor Marvin's two luxury Corvettes. But there's one problem. Marvin hired a security team to post out in front of his house so that we don't come take those Corvettes because... If you watched last episode, we took Marvin's luxury speedboat and we took it to a warehouse and he's not able to get it back. So we're going to go ahead and figure out a solution to this issue. And I think I might have that solved already. So I'm going to head over to this place that might help us get these Corvettes back. As you know, Motor Marvin's house is located on the beachfront. It's on the ocean side. It's the top of the top luxury houses. And he's got this thing called a beach entrance. So I'm going to show you guys what this leads up to. It's actually kind of perfect. And we need to build out a tow truck as well. But this ramp is a little steep. But I'm thinking we can get a truck up here to steal these cars back. And there they are. Check it out. I don't think there's any security around here. They're on the other side of the house. But there's two C8 Corvettes. Those are brand new stingray additions they're like over a hundred thousand a piece so we're gonna go build out a custom tow truck something with a lot of power to get up this hill i think what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a flatbed this f450 while it's a good truck it's not gonna get the job done so we're gonna head on over to the shop customize out a new flatbed truck and when we're ready guys we have to send in a distraction to the security team so they don't get alerted when we do steal these things back for the bank so i'll meet you guys at the shop to customize some decoy vehicles and then also a new tow truck and before we do guys if you enjoy these repo episodes you want to see them continue drop a like on today's video and subscribe if you guys haven't already here we go carlos reliable motors slash ravenport repo all right we made it back let's go find a tow truck so what we got is we got a lot of options for tow trucks here we got a kenworth we got a mac anthem we have just this truck attachment we got a flatbed we've got a tow hook we got a winch we also got a rotator truck, so this thing's pretty cool too. But uh, it's not the best for transporting luxury vehicles because you don't want to drag them. We want to be able to put them on a flatbed because it kind of keeps them level. There's really no way to use a rotator on a luxury vehicle. So let's go check out the flatbeds and see what this thing's got. And it's also, check it out, it's got a winch built in. So we don't even have to do anything for adding on winches. Another thing that we should customize on this is, uh, let's maybe change the colors up a little bit. I think we should just go like this theme. That looks pretty sweet. And we'll change the grill design. I like these. These are called the, the grill verticals. So that's pretty sweet. Nice Peterbilt semi truck. Let's purchase this thing. 105,000. Wow. Well, we're going to have to get one eventually. So let's buy it today. All right, fire it up. So this is a Peterbilt 567. It's a strong truck. I think it's going to have plenty of power to get up that hill, which is what we need. It's got plenty of tires, traction. It'll be great. So we're going to go ahead, get this thing ready to roll out. Let's turn the lights off though. We're not trying to draw any distractions to Motor Marvin. And then also, I bought one more thing that's going to help us get these Corvettes out of there. A 10-year-old, 300,000-mile BMW, boys. That's right. This thing, I bought at auction. It's actually toast. We bought it for $650. It still runs, surprisingly, but it's probably going to break after today as we're going to crash it into their fence. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the decoy. So, this vehicle, what we're going to do is we're going to put a rock on the accelerator cause a distraction and it's going to drive into their front yard and then we're going to go around with the repo truck and take the corvettes and you know by the time they figure out their corvettes are gone we will already be out of town so that's the plan guys and yeah i say we send in the decoy vehicle and get right to work here so what we're going to do is we're going to actually load this on the flatbed for now because we want to have the tow truck positioned near the house that way when we send the decoy in we're ready to go everything's set up there we don't have to like run all the way back to pick this truck up so we got to, you know, station it somewhere across the street. Let's just pretend we're doing a normal tow job right now. The house is right there. I think we're going to back it in right here. Ready? Watch this. So the truck's going to be positioned in this garage. Oh, okay. I don't think it's going to clear, but that's good enough for now. Let's go ahead and drop the ramp. Let's get this BMW decoy vehicle off. All right. There we go. All right. You boys know the drill. Ready? Three, two, one. Hit it. Oh my gosh. We just sent it over. All right. Here we go. Get in the tow truck. That's going to give us about eight minutes of time to get both Corvettes out of there. That means we have four minutes for each Corvette. So let's swing around the beach front side. There's a ramp that goes down and a ramp that goes up. So this is perfect. All right, three minutes and 30 seconds and counting to get the first Corvette. We are on a tight time schedule. Oh my gosh, we're flying in this thing. I just hope it has enough power. If it doesn't, we're going to have to steal the Corvettes another way. But oh, this is plan A. Here we go. Send it. Come on. Oh, it's making it. It's making it. Come on, come on, come on. About another 10, 15 feet. Oh my gosh, it's bogging down. Come on. We're almost there. Okay, we're there, we're there, we're there. Over these train tracks. Why did he build his house on train tracks? Okay, here we go. I think they're figuring out that the car just crashed through the front yard. And they're wondering whose it is and if there's anybody in it. But I jumped out before. Here we go. Let's get the roll back down. 
Okay, we need to figure out how to get this winch attached to the wheel. We don't have any keys or anything to start this vehicle. So let's wrap it around this tire. We're going to drag this thing on the flatbed and uh, hopefully it works. Okay, it's slowly dragging around. As you can see, the winch is working. There we go. It's moving. All right, and then let's winch in here. Okay, there we go. Looks good. About another five feet, and it'll be on the flatbed. There we go. All right, let's wrap this thing down, boys. The first Corvette is ready to roll. Let's go ahead and tilt it forward. Looks good. These things are actually pretty heavy, so we got to be pretty careful with it. Okay, it's secure. Let's move, boys. We got to find a way out of here. We're not going through the front way. Okay, yeah, the security's looking at the car over there. That's pretty funny. The way we sent that thing off the cliff, too, that must have scared them, but uh maybe that's too soon i think there's a path over here to where we can stash this corvette there we go drive around we got to find a spot to hide it until we can get both vehicles to the warehouse and no not this building there's got to be something around here oh hold on hold on i might have found something bingo right here behind this building this will work oh my gosh the corvette's about to fall off all right the vet's off boys let's get this thing down we are on a tight schedule like you guys know we got about four minutes left maybe less Oh, no, the train. There we go. Cross. That would have lost time. Oh, that was close. That was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. But here we go. Let's go back down the beachfront. Oh, my gosh. There's so many people. Turn the lights on. Sirens. Move it or lose it, people. Coming through. Repo, man. Right now, more important than you. So watch out. All right. All right. All right. We need speed. We need speed. I am speed. Let's send it up the mountain. I think everything's looking good. There we go. There we go. Oh, my gosh. We lost speed. We hit some bump. Hopefully it doesn't lose it. Oh, no. We're going off the edge. We're going off the edge. Easy, easy. Keep it steady, steady. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going on? The semi-truck jump out. Oh, my gosh. This thing just fell down the mountain. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, I do have a plan B. Here we go. I have this technology thing. I don't need to speak about it. Basically, I plug it into here. It's only repo men get this thing and fired up. There we go. This was plan B, but we're not supposed to do this. Uh, but, you know, I want the money to get the job done. So here we go. Let's take it on the beach. We've got the second Corvette. Oh, my gosh. That went terribly wrong. No, don't total this thing. Okay, we landed. We're good. We're good. Let's get this thing back to the hideout. And I guess we can test drive it. Whoa, what does that license plate say? 663 what? Uh, he must be confused why his car is getting repoed, probably. Move it, people. Coming through. Man, this car is nice. I wish I had one of these. Well, I could technically. Oh, easy, easy. Take a right. All right, there we go. Let's send it back to the shop. Let's get these things hidden. And uh, then we'll call it a day. We got a garage actually up the road here. So we're going to put both the Corvettes. We got to go back for the blue one. Gee, someone just hit me just about there. But I'll see you guys at the warehouse. There it is. There's the warehouse. All right, let's get this thing in the garage. I don't think we have any other vehicles here. As you can see, the concrete's a little bit uneven, so we got to be careful. There we go. We're going to have to wedge these things in correctly. Oh, my gosh. The height is uh, a little bit different. We have to go on an angle to get these cars in the garage. Oh, no. Don't close. Here we go. We got the one tire on. Back it in. All right. Corvette 1 is secure. Let's close the garage. Not on me, but there we go. Let's go back for the blue Corvette, boys. All right, guys. We got the blue Corvette running with the secret device, but we're going to take this thing back to the garage, get it hidden. This one's the more expensive one. I think it's because it's got the racing stripes, and it's got a bigger engine, too. A 6.2 liter V8, which is insane, and the engine swapped it. Eh, let's take it for a little spin. Why not? Oh, this thing handles good. Did you see that turn? Very sharp. It didn't spin out. That's awesome. It's a two-wheel drive vehicle, which is surprising. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's get back on the road. Let's take this thing to the shop. This is actually another route we could take to get there. So we'll swing around the south end and uh, eventually get there. Take a little bit of a scenic drive through Ravenport, the good old days. I think I've drove this road about a thousand times back in FS19. But uh, yeah, once we get to the shop, guys, that'll be a wrap on today's repo jobs. It was definitely a thrilling day. We had a lot going on with the repo job. You know, that guy was crazy, Motor Marvin, but officially we have everything repoed from him. So if you guys want to see us go back and repo vehicles from another crazy person that doesn't make their payments, drop a like in today's video and subscribe down below if you guys haven't already. Over 90% of you guys that watch the videos aren't subscribed. So what are you waiting for? All you got to do is click a button down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.